I mean, you, you, you had your OC dress as her. That was pretty straightforward. Well, what do you think? What how the do you, what hell do you think is this? Like, it's some inspiration what for. in the fuck? Yep. More problem, sorry. But yeah, now I need a vector. I'm, I'm just gonna make a vector of Bliss just being like her back stretching and Solar's holding her up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bitch! And she, she's just got this. Oh yes, look on her face. Oh and my the next, god. And then the next frame is just you hear, you're like distressed and you just hear a crack sound. <laughs> yep, uh, I'll just have to make a crack notification. Fuck! Perfect. Ow! This is the life! <laughs> uh, I feel so alive! Admitting it does hurt at first. What? Are you serious? But it's worth it. Totally I couldn't worth reach it. the heavy it's machine gun in less than a second. You know what they say, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain, I oh, got <laughs> What in the hell are those things? I have- Oh, oh I fucking have... hell, I got blasted into smithereens. They're amoebas. <laughs> you got blasted into smithereens, oh no. What are we gonna do? The gym was already blown to smithereens. Where's the kaboom? That was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Fuck, ah, dude. I gotta admit, that, that was well. That is actually really good. You're really close to seeing it. Itchy eye, itchy eye, itchy, itchy, itchy. Itchy. Are you having allergies too, Lissy? Duh. It's Texas. Fuck. Yeah. So is my poor baby girl. There. She's got it bad too. She's got it allergies too, so. Whoa, Hers is Jesus. actually worse than me. Sadly, like, she's already got the itchy eye, too. I'm like, oh no, my poor baby. Itchy eye, itchy eye. <laughs> Don't scratch it too much, you'll turn red. <laughs> okay, hey, oh, these red things, heart. whatever the fuck that is. Damn it! I feel guilty when doing that. Doing oh, what? kiss my ass! Uh, just, scratching, just scratching my eye too much, it turns red. Yeah. Uh, my poor baby. I really, you feel I really hate doing that. The best way to, uh, I think the best way to, like, think, oh, oh, wait. Like, if your eyes were, like, still red, I recommend, you recommend like, eye drops. Well, oh, wow. The things that you use against red eye is what you should use against red eye. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't have guessed. Fail. We'll get him next time. Next, I, you're gonna I, I, tell yeah, me, you... oh, wait, if you cut yourself, you should put a band aid on it. That's the best way to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This is my, news to me. My <laughs> eyes aren't that bad. I give him a good scratch and I'm good. I kind of scratching my eyeball. This soldier uh, he has a compound fracture. I can't give eye drops to my daughter yet. Without touching those weird things. They, they, yeah. yeah you know, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, robotic septic eyes. Fuck! I, I, I could say something. Get up there, so get up there, get up there. I, I can't Damn. give eye drops to my daughter. She's too young. Technically, you could, but it wouldn't be fun. Yeah. Alright, here come these things. I don't even know if it's that serious yet, because it's just. just what? Just I fucking dodged that. Out. Kiss my ass. Right. Luckily, uh, I gave her some medicine, so she'll be fine, hopefully. If not, we're gonna go check it out and see what, the, what we should do about it, so. Hopefully it's not too serious. Okay, so here we go. Lather, rinse, and repeat. <laughs> what are you laughing about now, Bliss? <laughs> Hashtag gravity crack grab. <laughs> oh my god. How many more fucking times you got us gonna make jokes about gravity falls? I didn't know it was a joke, <laughs> Revan! He said it! Or they said it! I it off. <laughs> oh, fucking I god damn it! it. I was quoting it, and now everyone's hashtagging it. <laughs> Suck my ass. I fucking dodged that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's good times. Good times. Yeah, it's good times. These are good, these are good times. <laughs> you no, wrong that, way. That bad gun, the, the, <laughs> The wish you could have come and the bad gun's over. Kinda sucks. Speaking of 
Yeah, I did remember a few people asked if Solar was around at Babs, and I'm like, no, like, couldn't oh, make yeah. it. Yeah. Couldn't make it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Which was a big bummer. Yeah. Oh, he's that took one bummer. fucking hit. Damn it. So how was that? Many good highlights. At least we got many good highlights. Fucking hell! It was good. <laughs> I had a few mishaps. One cringy fan overstepped himself and almost Jesus died Christ. from cookies. Jesus Christ! Every fucking time I'm not there, some fucking cringy fuckwad comes up and wait, does some stupid wait, shit. Wait, it's it's someone different? Okay, who's this? Yeah, who's it was someone different. Oh. Yeah. At least it was someone different. They need to realize that they're not the center of attention. They're not the center of the universe. Wait, what? Well, hey, I got a happen? point. I, I mean. There. If you want to hear a story, I'll be happy to tell it, as long as I'm not interrupted. By all means. Go ahead. All right, here's the story. Uh, so I gotta give context that everyone should know I'm empathic. Mm -hmm. So I can just sense things, but sometimes I brush it off as, oh, maybe I'm being a little paranoid, but no, usually it's spot on. Anyway, uh, me, Doc, uh, Jack Nolan, and Josh decide to head to my room, which is where Will and Katie and my niece were staying at, because we wanted to um, do a reaction. No, we wanted to watch the new episode of MLP and then do a reaction about it. So we're leaving the atrium, which is basically above the lobby, and... As we're passing the escalators, uh, I noticed a guy get off and made brief eye contact with him for a few seconds, but in that brief second, I just knew he was bad news. It's weird, and I didn't understand why, and I'm like, nah, you're being paranoid, don't think about it. But no, I noticed he was following us. Okay, oh. I'm not gonna think oh. too much of it. And then he got on the elevator with us. I'm like, okay, why would this guy get on the escalators only to follow us to the elevators? Hmm, so he's definitely following us. Um, I try to put myself at ease when he uh, spoke to Jack and not me. And basically he's, he was saying, uh, hey, thanks for giving me that advice. It really helped and I appreciate it. And Jack's like, oh yeah, no problem, no problem. And then he went back to talking with Josh about project ideas. We get off on the uh, fourth floor, which is where uh, our room is. He gets off with us and starts following. Uh, red flag, red flag. And he's talking more and more with Jack. And Jack is being nice, you know, and whatnot. But he's also trying to softly say, hey, uh, we're trying to leave right now. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But obviously he's not getting it. So finally I turn around and say, hey, uh, no fits, but we're having a private meeting. Um, it was nice talking to you. We'll see you later. And right, his response, his first response was, Lighty Blitz is so cute. Right, uh, followed by a very creepy face. Um, uh, I didn't say anything other than, okay, see you later. And I turn around to walk away. But before Jack and Josh and Doc could stop this from happening, uh, the guy reached out, pet my head down to my back. Uh, Ew. Bad touch. Hey, buddy. You're kind of cute, too. You're not going to be in a fucking second if you don't get your goddamn hand off of her. Yeah. yeah that's so face my first instinct, carpet. My, my first instinct was to jump back, and I had my hands up in a defensive posture, and I firmly said, do not touch me. And the guy didn't hear me, apparently, or didn't care, and just kept coming towards me. But oh, by then, Christ. by then, Josh, Doc, and Jack got in between the two of us, and Jack said, you need to leave. The lady said no. Oh, and my God. But the guy kept going. He's like, oh, come on. Can I just give her a hug and no. pet her, please? No, uh, motherfucker. Get the fuck away. It's a, it's a nice guy. It's a nice guy. It's our slash nice guy. Run away. That is not a nice guy. That's a fucked up guy. No, that's a highly autistic guy or something. But yeah, he, they managed to tell him to go away, and he walked away as soon as he did. Then we went into our room, and I'm, and I'm like, I can't believe that just happened. And Jack kept profusely apologizing for not seeing it sooner. And it's like, it's not your fault. I saw it coming long ago. <laughs> like, I was already getting red flags. I just wish Jesus I had told the Christ. guys to stop following us sooner. Good <laughs> God. <sighs> okay. so yeah, that was, was my he, bad fan. Did, wasn't, oh. he, wasn't he also in in, in our uh, in our meeting grease salon or? God no. damn it! Mm, I don't believe so. No. Okay, cause I really hope oh, not. You could at least, yeah, that way I could have put in the uh, who, 
Yeah, who was this guy? Cause, oh my god, that was just crazy. Well, this guy was tall. He had a beard and mustache. I think it was a brown, blondish hair. Really tall. Well, Ooh. then again, everybody's taller than me, so who am I kidding? <laughs> Ring a bell. <laughs> I don't think it rings a bell by that description. But Jesus Christ. Oh my lordy. Ugh, at least it wasn't the same person, because I, I I did mention that uh, that he he wasn't attending this year. Uh, no, I'm not worried about him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this was someone else. Not fun. Didn't see the guy again, luckily. Good. Good um, but yeah, the first night of Babscott almost died for cookies. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, uh, somebody was giving it was giving Bliss a Skittles cookies, and it did not turn out well. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, why did what you accept was... treats from Stranger? <laughs> I think the red, I think the red flag I should have listened to the first time was this was his first time baking. Ugh. Oh. Wait, wait. Did you take a bite before or after he said that? Uh, ap wait, well, well, after I was trying to give him a chance, you know. Oh. Poor I thing. ate like a cookie and a half, Fuck. and yeah, things went terribly wrong. Dog life. <laughs> I almost called 911. I oh, actually please. called out for my mom. <laughs> Poor yes, Bliss. You know it's never... bad when you start crying for your mama. <laughs> uh, this is why you should not. This is why you don't allow fans to give. Is that? Is you know where? Uh, where was that made from? I. I don't... Again, I don't, I don't think this was malice intent. He, he, I, I talked to the fan about it later, and he felt just god awful, and he, he had a feeling something might not have been right about him, and he just felt so bad. I, I'm leaving him nameless because he does not need harassment. It was a complete yeah. total accident. Yeah. If he understood, if he understood that uh, he didn't meant that, and then I no, could, he had I no could... intention, not yeah. no intention whatsoever. He just wanted to do something nice for me, and. He he overestimated mm. Bacon, I guess, mm. and yeah, he felt bad, and I I didn't sense any malice or yeah. I'll give him props. Okay. I'll give him props oh, for oh my uh, God. trying to make amends. Yeah, at least he was apologetic about it. Mm -hmm. Why did you just you say? Well, I'm not really hungry right now. I'll just eat later. Can you imagine? Well, because they were cookies, I thought they were going to be okay. I never got food poisoning from cookies before. <laughs> That would be really no, hilarious if that was his his intent the entire time. That's like the most that that's like the most soft core like form of uh, malicious intent towards a person. Like, haha, I've mildly inconvenienced you with mediocre baking. Hey, Chris, what are you going about it now? Except this actually hurt me, Solar. That's the thing. It hurt me so bad. I legit thought Kichi and Soma and Chuggle would have to call 911 because I was in so much pain. How bi how bad? How big a pain we talking here? On a here? scale of nine to ten, with ten being the war uh, one to ten, sorry, uh, with ten <laughs> being like uh, and we need to go to the hospital. I was at a was at a eight point five to a nine. Oh God! I was seizing. Jeez. I was Jeez. I was crying. Right. I was just desperately trying to focus on breathing. <laughs> Jeez, that's I like his worst. Yeah. That was like as bad as the time I had my kidney stones. Good lord. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kidney stones aren't fun. No, they For those are not. That know, that's when you get all the. That's when you get all the fun little contaminants in your body, and they get pushed all up Fuck. into rocks, and then they get stuck in your pee pee. I like, I, I thought, I thought, uh, I mean, I'm gonna have to get checked for this, and I hope to make an appointment at some point this week, but, yeah, I, I was thinking, oh god, what if I really do have ulcers in my stomach, and one of them is actually ruptured? Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, actually, but if that happened, lot. I'd be throwing up blood. Yeah, and not to mention you were having a bad stomach egg, um, after, after, uh, having, um, dinner with us at the Korean barbecue. Well, that... That, that I can tell you why that happened. It's because I had to take Nexium every day, and that morning I forgot to do so. Yeah, I was there. I, yeah, it will, yeah, you, me, Will, and Katie, and Bliss, we were taking you back there. Oh, um, Blood or Star, to answer your question, I do not mind having cookies if you are offering. And then Eric asked both me and Bliss, have you ha tried a gingerbread cookie? I have. I have. I only like them when they're soft, though. Fuck! Yep. Wow, oh, you prefer yeah. cookies when they're soft as Damn opposed it. to be fucking bricks. <laughs> Some people like crunchy cookies. I don't understand oh, yeah. why, though. I don't get it either. What the fuck? 
I oh, I actually love the uh, the softer type of cookies as well, especially like they're freshly made, cooked, and the the if I'll they have like my chocolate ass. inside it, if they have like chocolate chip or something, and the chocolate chip is still melting, it's delicious. Yum. But gingerbread cookies I've had a lot, especially during like close to Christmas time. It was like one of the few we always eat. Oh, my mom is the queen of sugar cookies, Darth. <laughs> Oh, yum. my mom's sugar cookies is what made me popular in elementary and middle school. <laughs> Becoming as popular as popular can be. My mom was the, was the hype of fake cells. <laughs> she was she was the star of every Halloween party or Christmas party because she would make these sugar cookies. I might have to try one of your mom's cookies then. Do you know the Lone Star Cookbook? It's a blue book. I've oh, heard of it, it, yes. I think yeah, my grandmother can... used to use it. Damn it! You can find the recipe in there. It's not a cheap book, but it's worth it. And yeah, that's my mom's sugar cookie recipe. Yum. But she, she alters it a little bit, though. I, I, I don't I, think I should tell you that secret. <laughs> it's out of her Ooh, snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Yum. Elior kills me on her snickerdoodles. Like, Nickel. in a good way. I, I love snickerdoodles. They are so flipping good. Snickerdoodles! Snickerdoodles! I, never forget. I like it. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna okay. say, uh, I was gonna say, um, I, uh, I like dipping uh, a snickerdoodle cookie in some milk and drinking the milk afterwards. Be silly and be I will never forget. <laughs> I will never forget the weekend of BabsCon where I was trolling everybody as a banana grammar. Oh my god. Basically, I, I was trolling around on my on my Discord servers and somebody, uh, I think a, a questioner guy uh, shared shared a picture called the banana grammar and that were just a bunch of nicknames yeah. and a bunch of different shaped bananas. And they and like one of them was called the Ananananana, <laughs> another one called the Ava. <laughs> a, a small one, just a small cutted banana called a nab. I was bursting out laughing. I decided, okay, fuck, I'm gonna share this to everybody at Babscon. I'm just gonna troll them. I broke almost everyone's brains. Bronny wanted to you know, break my phone. Bliss was, Bliss's brain was, I think, broken. Fiala, <laughs> Fiala knew that I was giving her payback from the Rick brawl. Like, Poor so many thing. got triggered by it. Poor Goldie. magical star. Goldie. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Goldie. Goldie. I don't think he's aware. Oh, he had to blow his nose. Oh, he had to blow his yeah. nose. Okay. He had to blow yeah. boogers. Magical star doesn't know what a snickerdoodle is. They're from Ed Britain. Educate yourself. A yeah. They're a type of cinnamon cookie, yes. Yeah, yeah it's a cinnamon <sighs> sugar cookie. Uh, oh really yeah, I remember. I remember hey, where they were. Yeah, when I was in London, like uh, two, like uh, last year, I I actually um, I had the taster, and that's so bad. <sighs> I, I'm I'm just about done with this game. Like I was having I was fun before, say, but do you need a hug? This, yeah. this, this last mission is just dude, kiss my ass. Like this stage is just like there. It's one thing to have a challenge; it's another to just be ridiculous. Mm.